Hello, hello. Well, I made this little alcohol stove the other day. I'd found two drinks cans, one slightly smaller than the other. So I had another look and Red Bull do not much difference in it. It's enough, two different cans. So after having made this one, I thought I'd make another stove uh, with two Red Bull cans and that should look quite spiffy. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you the process of what I do, uh, what most people do, uh, um, and we'll see how we go from there. So yeah, the two cans. One's 250ml, one's 355 Quite know why they bother with that slight difference. This one I make 53 mil across and this one 51 mil across. So as with this one, it fits in just nice, leaves enough room for my thin carbon fiber, carbon felt rather, uh, the Chinese one, which I'm not convinced is carbon felt. It might be a like a really compressed fiberglass because it's a little itchier, but I don't know. But it works, that's the main thing. It doesn't fall apart, it's quite felty. Right, next thing I need to do is open these up. And uh, I'm not a great fan of Red Bull, but uh, I'll have to drink it. That's neat. Not sure if I noticed this before. That's a bull in the pool tab. Ah, that's pretty neat. Anyway. Oh, it smells too much like vodka and a Red Bull. Yeah, but I'll have to drink it. So to cut the can, I've just got a blade on this bit of wood. That'll twiddle around there, score the can. I can then bend and snap. So I need to come up a little higher. And that's just about perfect. So yeah, all, all I do is uh, drop that in there. Keep going. Some of it will pierce, other will just keep scoring. Gone through. And you get a nice clean cut with that. Right, let me carry on with this and I'll come back in a sec. Okay, there we go. That's a nice clean cut. I can touch that up with a little bit of sandpaper, a bit of wet and dry just to smooth that edge. And that's my, oh, my bottom section. Right, next section. I've got 40 mil. I'm just gonna come up 45 for this one, just to make it a touch higher. I know we like to get that little sweet spot and this one is on the lower side as you can see there but this works fine but I just want to make this one just a touch a touch longer so again this time I need it a bit higher I'm 
a few mil out, but that's close enough for what I need. So the same process again. Spin that around. Boom, and there we go again. So now I have my two bits. You can see the sort of gap I'm dealing with there, which is just perfect, yeah. All right, next, I need to bung a hole in the bottom of there. I would say, if you want to cut the top off of this, you could do as well. Cut that inner circle out and make the same as like a, a more regular fancy feast would be. But I just fancied for a change just to see if I've drilled a hole in there. That's big enough to put the fuel in. It burns fine. Uh, and maybe it might stop a little bit of spillage if it did go over. But we'll do that. We'll do that next anyway. All right. Let's try and find my center point as best as. What's that? 44. All right. That's me hole. In the middle, that, that'll do fine for there. Just take a few of the rougher edges off that. a little bit now but uh, I can mark this up and get this cut right. yeah I think this might not be real carbon felt more like a compressed fiberglass but it works Now, I do like to make this a touch longer because it does seem to shrink just a little bit. So let's go for about there. And I also want to just snip the bottom a little bit to try and get it to, to curve in when it hits the, uh, the curve of the bottom of the can. Okay, so that's just popped in there nicely. I can now get this in without cutting the, the felt. Come on, come on, come on. Right, let me come back in five minutes because I need to do this very carefully. It's going to be a bit boring. Right, done it. And that's the, the little shavings that come out as the edge of the, uh, the can just cuts that. Right, one last little thing to do. And... Uh, It'll be ready. It's a good idea to put some little notches on the edge to make sure your pot sitting on top doesn't seal it and create any pressure problems. So I've just got a little triangular needle file. There's already a couple of dents in this. So 
sauce. So yeah, just a couple of little slots in there. So when that pan is fully flush on there, there's a little gap to release any pressure. And that's more or less it. So there you are, I just wanted to make like a, uh, a nice little tidy one where the, the colors match. I could, just thinking about it, to be honest, if I'd have made a hole in the middle of the can and took the drink out, I could still have used the bottoms. So I could I could have made two can, uh, two stoves out of two cans. So think of that. So yeah, I mean that would as a, as a base as a oh, phone as a base that would work fine. Uh, and then just cut the top off of there and make another stove. Ah, next time. Right, next thing to do is go outside and uh, have a play. few seconds to soak and wake. That's good. Super fast bloom and stay onto the, the flame. Let's put that around. And as you've seen in several other videos, we're good to go straight away. So yeah, that's uh, that's my little Fancy Feast-esque stove. I know there's a million and one videos showing you what to do and how to do it. There's a million and two now, so there we go.